Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. I really, really do appreciate it. I really appreciate everybody that watches my channel, um, those who comment and those who like chat over on Instagram as well. I really, really do appreciate that, guys. Um, so yeah, we are going to just do a closeout for the second week of September, I believe. Um... I'm at a slightly odd angle because Alan's next to me but he's had to put his feet up and the dog is in between his legs so um, he did offer to put his feet down but I didn't want to just, just, just to disturb the dog um, so it's my fault I'm at a funny angle but I do have a wee booklet under here just to keep my book up um, <clears throat> yeah so my weeks run from the 27th of September so although that was hardly in uh, 27th of August so that wasn't really into September much it was just when I got paid so we are closing out oh no we're closing out the third week the way it works holy that's gone in fast yeah closing out the third week of September which I'll see there I'm at, I say I'm at a really bizarre angle <clears throat> so this week ran from the 10th of September to the 16th which was yesterday and we've already filled out some of it but we're going to go in with the purse first did the same we did groceries was 25 fuel was 45 my spending we did the pumpkin faces challenge and we had five pound and then work spending was five pound and piper was zero so let's see what we have left in the purse zoom you out just a fraction So we have the receipts at the front. We there is receipts in there. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can see them. Um, groceries. We have ten pound in notes, and then we also have change. All this change was from groceries. <coughs> So we'll do that one first. So we have one, two, two fifty, three, three twenty, thirty, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. We have thirteen, thirty eight left over in groceries. Leave that to the side. Um, which means we have, can you pass me that cup there, please, <clears throat> we'll do that, we'll come to it, that's great, Alan's got a grabber so you can just sit where he is, he doesn't have to move and you can pass your things, <laughs> brilliant, <laughs> so 25 minus £13.38 is 11.62 was spent on extra bits and pieces this week, Um. I'm very bad for going and getting treats from the shop though, which I really need to curb. Um, I had to get, what did I have to pick up yesterday? Just paracetamol for Alan and I came back with a four pack of Kit Kat junkies as well. So it's my own fault. Um, so 11.62 was spent on groceries. I think I'm going to list these guys. I had a lot of people asking for them. Um, I think I will. So we've got £5 left in fuel, which means we spent £40 in fuel. And then my spends, we didn't spend at all. So I've still got £5 there, but I'm going to leave that separate because that goes into the Spook and Save Challenge. So we didn't spend anything. 
and I know that in works pounding they spent the full five pound. There's nothing left in that one. And left over there. So we'll put that five pound to the side and we'll do that shortly. So that's the purse emptied. And let's get into the budget. So we spent what was it, eleven pound sixty-two in groceries. We spent forty pound in fuel. We spent nothing in my spending, and we spent five pound in work spending. Yeah, that's false talking. If anybody can hear that in the background. <coughs> Uh, Alan's got a channel and it she doesn't really enjoy so she'll be back and forth wanting it changed so that they can get hyper with it but then she just jumps off at the telly then so um, 556.22 was um, rolled over from the week before we had £17 and £5 extra I was due the £50 the cheque did come in but it didn't like I couldn't take a photo of it so I need to take it into the bank um, which I haven't done yet, so that'll come into budget probably next week or the week after. But um, I did make a few sales. I have Oriflame and a uh, Party Light, so I did make a few sales in them. So that is commission from them, seventeen pound and five pence. Etsy, I brought two pound nineteen in, and that is to cover the Apple storage and the website down here. And then, as you know, if you watched my reallocation video, I brought in six hundred thirty-five from savings challenges that had no purpose and put them into my sinking funds so although money was saved i could have just saved it and put it towards an emergency fund or whatever but they had no specific purpose um so i, I repurposed them basically and i'm really happy that i did because it's put me in a better position um for the likes of christmas and the weekend away at the end of the month and that kind of thing um, so I've done this calculation already, so in total we have £1,210.46 for this budget week. My 200 club came out at £4, um, and I think, the, was it the canny tally, Zoe um, mentioned that it would have been about £400 or something that I've been paying towards uh, this raffle, and not won a thing from, um, and... I mean, she was right in suggesting that I should have, could have spent that on myself and much better purpose for it. However, it is for the village. It's to, um, <clears throat> they have a week in the middle of summer where they put on activities for like the kids and for adults, for everybody in the village actually to go to. And it's all free for us to attend mostly. Um, things like the bingo and things that you pay for your tickets and bits and bobs and your drink and all that kind of stuff. But generally, you know, a lot of it is free. Um and or at reduced rates to what you would pay if you went you know to a bingo hall um but it's a fun week and that's where that money goes so i'm quite happy and obviously the upkeep of the the marquee tent that they use and different things like that so yeah i'm quite happy just to continue that four pound um and maybe one day i'll win who knows uh, apple storage was 99p that gets paid by from etsy and my website also gets paid by etsy so that's the one pound 20 which is the 219 there I did have my first unbudgeted spend in quite a while. Um, do I regret it? Absolutely not. Um, and a huge thank you to Lou at Endless Budgets and Designs. She used to be big on uh, YouTube and um, Etsy and things like that. But again, I think she was one of the first to really just, it was herself and her daughter Alex, just to get a bit um, flat with how everything was going. And, and now they are very, um, they do very good on TikTok. So if you are on TikTok, go over and have a look for Endless Budgets and Designs. They're brilliant. So that's Lou, mother and daughter team. Um, and she went and found this watch strap for me at a Poundland, which I absolutely love. A um, little bit big for my watch face, but that's my own issue. I love it. I'm happy with that. And then also the, excuse the state of the cover, but my little cover, which I love again. It's um, a little card slot. And then this goes up. So that you can hold it which i'm terrible for dropping my phone so but yeah i do love me a bit of donald so yeah that's what i got so that was on budget spend so it was um nine pound 85 and that's including postage from a uh, from lou getting that for me so a huge thank you to lou for that going out of her way <coughs> um i really really do appreciate that excuse me last drink 
so in total um my bills and unbudgeted spends came to 16 pound and four pence so we will deduct that from the it's not often i have an unbudgeted spend um and i could have taken out of one of my sinking funds like clothing or something like that but um it would have meant putting the cash back into my bank and things like that so i thought oh, i'll just have an unbudgeted spend for once so 11 one one nine four forty two and it was an impulse kind of buy as such when i seen it i, did, I wanted it so so sinking funds used um i haven't used any sinking funds although i've got the savings challenges they were kind of different they were just kind of in my bank um and i don't do the full I've got this in this category and that and that category and all that kind of stuff so um it's not classed as being used and then I put £20 over to extra debt and I've also actually had a, one of my credit cards I have amalgamated with another credit card as well so um that will take six months interest off of that so that'll save me a little bit in the long run um so that I put that into my Aqua credit card. So that payment will start going up a little bit, but it'll soon come down, um, especially with the extra debt. So we have 1,174.42 there. And then we put everything over as said. Um, let's have a wee look on this column but then we actually added to it as well with the unallocated money so we had no extra into annual um we didn't put any extra into the we didn't put anything extra into the car emergency or the vet fund so it was 10 pound that came over there and then mid term we put an extra 45 into appliances so in total it was 50 and then we put 305 over into short term and also we put 130 into variable and christmas got an extra well not an extra but it got 205 pound extra and it was budgeted to have 20 so 225 went in there i'm just going to double check that that does add up so 10 plus 50 305 130 and 225 is 720 so that is correct 720 in total went sinking funds So we'll deduct that from the 1,174.42, deduct the 720, and it leaves us with 4,5,4,42. And then we have our uh, cash envelopes that we've already done, so we'll add them all up. So 11.62 plus 45 means we spent £56.62 in total. We'll deduct that, so 4542 and deduct 56.62 leaves us with 397.80. And then we put £10 into the monthly challenge. We put five pound into pumpkin faces, and now we will do the rest of our challenges. So we'll start with spook and save because that, as we know, is the five pound that we have. So five pound in there. So that is this one. Zoom here a wee bit. 
And that is going to go into this wallet here, which um, was kindly gifted from Emily. Um, she doesn't have just dropped the fibre. Alan's just getting it with his grabber. No, he's not. <laughs> Excuse me a sec. <laughs> Everyone says Alan should have a bigger premise on my video, so there you go. That's Alan and his grabber. <laughs> oh, I really struggled to open these. So I'll put that five in there, so that's coming on nicely. So what's that five and six, eleven pound in there? Added up there. That's another one. So yeah, hand drawn for me. Uh, isn't how lovely is a writing? Absolutely love it. I'm toying with the idea of commissioner to do more for me to sell. If you're watching Emily, what do you think? Um, pumpkin faces we have done, and then Halloween we have fifteen to go in here. So we've got fifteen. So we'll have to do. One and a half. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85 in there, which means we are over halfway. For the Halloween one. I wonder if we'll get that done. We should hopefully get that done by um by Halloween. That would be good. Um so right, let's write that in. So we've got 15 and then five, and then we're gonna flip over the book because we've got quite a few different numbers. <coughs> to our savings challenges. I'm just going to do these ones just now and then I'll fill the rest in off camera. So we shall start with the penny challenge. All these challenges I'm doing just now are, um, are, are available on my Etsy. I do have one from um, Budget Gals which I will be incorporating soon but every other challenge you see just now is from my own Etsy store. So we have... 20, no, 10, <laughs> 30, 35, 37, 38, and we did that last week, I think, um, 30, so let's do 35 and 3, which is 38. No, it was the uh, 36 we did last week. 38 in there, and then that just goes into this little purse for now until I go home and get my jars. There was a limit to how much I could bring up here, so this is a make do main for now. And then we have two pound coins. And then we also have. Can't pick them up. My nails have just gotten too long. And we've got two fifty p's. You hear Alan snoring. He's putting it on. <laughs> so we had two fifty p's. And just a, a general, not a general reminder, just a reminder that if you were to order the 50p challenges, this now comes as a whole. So you have this on one side and this on the other side rather than the two. It was just when I first brought it out, um, it was after I brought it out that I thought about doing this part to it. So and rather than wasting, I just um, kept the two. Um, and I think there is a few, I think Kerry has the two parts as well, but yeah, you would get it all in one go now. So two 50p's on there. Um, yeah, so it comes like 
like that with the, on the back. And then we have two pen coins as well. I don't get an awful lot of change, but I'm liking how these are building up slowly but surely. So that is the challenges. So that is us for now. That has been quite a long video just for a close out, but thank you for watching. Um, I haven't finished. Oh dear, I'm all bought. I haven't finished. £3.38 So we have 10 plus 5 plus 3.38 plus 15 plus 5 So 38, 38 went into challenges and we deduct that from the 3.9780 which leaves us with 3.59 42 which we have already done so 35942 that is what's in my bank so I'm glad that's tallied out well so yeah so I am now finished so if you're watched to the end sorry for that confusion uh, thank you very much for watching take care and I will see you all in my next video bye